guys welcome back to the channel so first of all just log in with your credentials and once done with this just become back over here click on this checkbox and click on activate and continue now just wait and just simply search for the vm instance open this thing in new tab now just simply come on the task number one scroll down and copy this name do not copy that full stop just copy the name come back over here click on create instance replace the name over here like this now in the machine type you have to choose e2 small i'm again saying as a machine type you have to choose e2 small otherwise you will face unnecessary error okay now just simply scroll down in firewall click on this both the check boxes and now click on create now once the virtual machine is created you are done with the task number one now just wait for a couple of seconds and let's see And here you can see virtual machine is created. Now click on this SSH option. It is going to take a couple of seconds. And if you just simply scroll down, click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Okay, now just simply come on the task number two, copy this command, just wait for a second. And it's done. Now run the first command of task number two. Scroll down, then copy this command. Just wait and run. Now just wait. And here you can see it asking like, do you want to continue? So just press Y and hit enter. Now just scroll down, copy the first command of task number three. And once this command get executed, you are done with the task number two. Now copy this command and paste over here and hit enter. Now scroll down, then copy this command. Okay, and one more thing, please make sure that this command complete with the sleep 60. If it's not, just refresh the page and again, just check the command. Okay, now copy this command and just wait for this command get execute. And it's done. Now run the last command of task number three. Okay, now just simply come on the task number two, click on this check my progress. Okay, done. Now just wait for this task get completed and once it's done, we are done with the task number three. And it's done. Now if you just simply scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue. Now no need to perform the task number four, just simply come on the task number five. First of all, just copy this monitoring, come back over here, just simply search over here and just open this thing in new tab. Now I will request you please watch the video carefully because this task is little bit tricky. Click on this alerting, then click on create policy. Okay, now here click on the select matrix and here you can see virtual machine. Now just simply click over here and now click on this Apache. Okay, scroll down at bottom and here you can see traffic. Okay, just check the path VM instance, then Apache and then workload slash Apache dot traffic. Okay, then click on apply. Now for the rolling window, you have to just choose one minute. Okay, no need to make any other changes. Just simply click on next. Now here you can see threshold value, just type 4000 like this, then click on next. Now click over here. Then click on this manage notification scroll down first of all just copy your username now here you can see email just click on this add email paste the email over here now for the display name just simply type quick lab and then click on save just wait and it's done now go back to the monitoring tab refresh the page again click on here and click on the checkbox and click on ok so it's done now for the duration just choose a 30 minutes 
like this okay now scroll down and for the name scroll down at bottom and here you can see from the point number six this name policy name just copy this name like this paste over here and then click on next and then click on create now just wait for a couple of second and it will be done as you can see now if you just simply click on this check my progress you will get a score without any issue if you make any kind of mistake in this task you won't get a score so i request you please rewind the video watch the task number five carefully and you will done with this lab and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys